Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, it's mail time again. We have two packages. One comes from our buddy Brian Trash, Serial at Midnight contributor Brian Trash. The other box is, I think, mm, look at the size of this thing. I think this is the biggest parcel, the biggest package we have ever received here at Serial at Midnight. Biggest box to date. So we're going to save this for a second. I want to talk about uh, Brian Trash. I have no idea what's in here, but Brian gets us, man. He knows the kind of stuff that we love here at Serial at Midnight. If you go back and watch some of our past mail videos, he has sent us some of the coolest, most I don't even want to say obscure, but just like things that I did not know existed, but he knew that we would appreciate and enjoy. And his column, his article, uh, he has started contributing articles to Serial at Midnight.com. And the first one of those I will link in the description of this video. It is a, uh, a spotlight on very classic, very old uh, early animation from like the 20s, the 30s. There's a collection out uh, that really collects some of these old uh, animated cartoons from the early, or the pioneer days of animation. Wasn't on my radar, but now it is, thanks to Brian Trash. So keep your eyes peeled to SerialAtMidnight.com for all the coolest stuff that's coming from Brian Trash. And I have no idea what is in this package, but as I've explained, um, it's probably going to be something pretty good. So I am blessed that there is a pull tab here. So I'm just going <laughs> to just gonna pull it. I don't have to hurt myself, although... I am packing you guys, so if I need to, whoosh, if I need to do some cutting, I'm ready to do it. So let's see what's in here. All right, we have uh, another, let's see, cardboard. So empty, and now this is cardboard. What do we have? It's another box. Okay, we have another box. Let me make sure. Yes. All right, guess what? I get to do some cutting. I'm paranoid that I don't. Okay, I am recording. Sometimes I don't wear my glasses for most of the videos and I can't see. So I'm like, am I recording? Is that little red light blinking? Sometimes I don't know. Ugh. All right, well, that was easy. Let's see what we have here. Holy cow! You guys, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steelbook. I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, I do have a Blu-ray. I don't know what edition of Blu-ray I have or compared to this one. This is a steel book. This is amazing. So this is staying sealed. <laughs> this is staying in the package uh, for the foreseeable future. Here's the art of the leather face, you guys. Have I talked about the last time that I watched? Um, I think I said this in the commentary for... We have a Patreon commentary for, uh, for They Live. John Carpenter, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Keith David... Um, I think I, I mentioned it in that commentary that the last time I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it became very, like I never noticed the humor in it before. It's a very funny movie. It's really funny. If you can get past, you, you have to, it's not a first viewing funny kind of a thing. It's a much later <laughs> funny kind of a thing. And I was like, am I imagining it? And then I saw him talking on a... I don't remember, but it was it was Toby Hooper talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and he was like, you know, people didn't get the humor in the first movie, so I really punched it in for the second movie, and I was like, yes, yes, I thought it was funny. Brian, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Did everybody get a good look at the Steelbook artwork? I love this movie. I think that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a masterpiece. I think it is a perfect movie. I would not change a single frame of this movie. So uh, this is really exciting. Thank you so much, Brian. I really appreciate it. And now that brings us to this behemoth, behemoth of a box. I'm going to do some careful cutting. You know what? I'm going to put this on the floor just so I have a little bit more leverage. Okay, the box, the box is on the floor. You cannot see it, but let's see. You can hear it. You can hear the cardboard flesh rending. Just about knocked the camera over. Okay, we have a letter. Uh, let's see who this is from and what they have to say. So this box comes from Kyle. I'm not going to, to say Kyle's last name because I, I don't know if he wants me to do that or not. But he had emailed me a couple of months ago. It was after some of the Pulp and uh, Executioner books haul videos that I had done. 
and uh, he had said, is there anything else you're looking for? And I, I have a list on my phone of some of the books that I'm constantly looking for from those, those series that I need to fill gaps in. And uh, I believe he has sent me some of the gaps from my collection. There's some pulp stuff in here. There's also apparently some Dick Tracy uh, items in here and something Vincent Price related. So uh, that is super, super cool. We're gonna dig this. We're gonna dig into that in just a second. But I'm also gonna say that uh, he says thank you for all you do and thank you to the ladies in your life because I know there's no way that you could do what you do and pursue your passion without a great support group behind you. And that is 100% true. Um, Brie is not just a sometimes co-host. When I say that she's the producer, I mean that. Every video that ends up on this channel has been filtered through her, punched up by her, uh, and she is an incredible support system. She is 50%, you know, she's probably actually more than 50% of Serial at Midnight. And I can also tell you that without Brie, I would have quit this a long time ago. Uh, he also says, uh, he also wants to thank me for introducing the great work of Joshua Jabkuga. Bubba Hotep was one of my all-time favorites, and I wouldn't have known about the Bubba Hotep and the Cosmic Bloodsuckers comics if you hadn't done a video on it. As a great man once said, until next time, I'll catch you later. That is amazing, Kyle. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, this is... Ah, uh, I'm getting the feels, you guys. I'm getting the feels. There's a ton of stuff in here, you guys. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, <laughs> the Andy Williams Christmas show. I know nothing. I know very little about Andy Williams. I know they play some of his, uh, his, um, Christmas songs on the radio this time of the year, but I will tell you, oh man, this looks very cheesy, but like in a good way, like, <laughs> like so many sweaters, um, Papa Midnight. I will tell you this Papa Midnight, my dad loves Andy Williams. He'll be like, you found anything good at the thrift stores lately? And I'll be like, well, I found uh, found an Elvis record and I found, this is usually stuff he doesn't care about because I'm like way into the obscure, fringy things. But I got some Dean Martin and I'm doing some stuff like that. He's like, did you find any Andy? Like, he loves Andy Williams. So uh, maybe we'll have to find time to watch this with Papa Midnight. Papa Midnight sounds like a voodoo priest or something. It probably is. He's not a voodoo priest, but uh, he's, he's, uh, he's just the... <laughs> He's a great guy. Um, wow. The Ultimate Johnny Carson Collection, Volume 1 through 3. I have some Johnny Carson in the collection. I'm trying to remember. I don't think it's this. I think I have a different Johnny Carson set. Uh, let's see. Is this... Um, I love Johnny Carson. You guys know how much we... Uh, we talked about him. I think we talked about Johnny Carson maybe in a Dean Martin video. Let's see. I'm trying to find a, an index. Okay. The very best of the 60s and 70s, the best of the 70s and the 80s, the best of the 80s and the 90s. Johnny Goes Home, and then the final volume has, oh, geez, um, has the an episode from 1992 with Robin Williams. Uh, it's Johnny's, <sighs> regarded as one of the most unforgettable moments in television history, Johnny's last two guests, Robin Williams and Bette Midler, say farewell with performances that bring down the house, never before available. And then... Last is the final show. Ooh, I got goosebumps just now. Thank you, Kyle, man. Mm. There are like dozens of items in here. So let, let's, <laughs> I'll try to pick it up a little bit. Let's see. What is this? Um, Cap Kennedy, secret agent of the spaceways, galaxy of the lost book. Number one. Whoa. I've never even heard of this, but it looks amazing. And check out, uh, it's it, he's got it in the bag. I mean, you gotta you gotta keep these books in the bag now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all these books are in bags. Kyle knows what's up. He's a collector. He gets it. This looks amazing. Oh, and here's Cap Kennedy number three, Monster of Metales. Oh man, these are cool. I love this pulp artwork. And I, again, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see down here. What do we have here? Oh, Doc Savage, the complete story of the Man of Bronze. Let's see, uh, his apocalyptic life. So I have a total of like one Doc Savage book. I think I have two Doc Savage books. So now I have three. Ho, 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 now I have three. Okay, we press forward. Mac Bolin, number 59. Oh man, we're gonna be filling some gaps. Crude kill. I'm gonna have to balance these. Let's see. Mac Bolin, number 57. I think maybe I started from the wrong side. Flesh Wounds. I'm going to start from the other side. 
The Executioner number 12, Boston Blitz. Oh, man. I have legitimately been looking for these. I mean, at thrift stores and at secondhand stores. Not like on eBay or anything like that. I'm sure they're on eBay, but that's not fun. If you can just go buy something on eBay, you kind of take the fun out of the search. And the search is, I think we all know the search is most of the fun, right? So this is... Uh, Number 12, not not that I'm implying that by not searching for these, these do not have the, like, I'm so happy to have these. I'm so happy that Kyle has my back and he's been watching out for me. Oh, number 17, Jersey Guns. Let's make sure you guys get a good look at the artwork there. Number 19, Detroit Death Watch. Number 20, New Orleans Knockout. This is probably going to be one of my favorites because I've spent a lot of time in New Orleans. I'm a big fan of the, the Big Easy. That's cool artwork too. Oh, we have two of these. Two copies of New Orleans Knockout. Number 22, Hawaiian Hell Ground. Aren't these names the best? It is so cool. Hawaiian Hell Ground. <laughs> number 23 st louis showdown holy cow i don't i don't have my list handy my list is is on my phone so i'm not going to just take it out and start doing that but i will say i'll do a report uh in this video maybe i'll put up text or something just to show like i think we're plugging up most of the holes that i had in this mac Bowen collection and i think he implied that in the letter that he wrote as well number 25 colorado kill zone oh these are amazing oh wow the artwork uh, it was like jet skis blowing up in the background. Oh, oh, the war book, the executioner's war book. Oh, wow. This is the one that's kind of hard to find because this is the one, it was a non numbered book, and it's like, um, you know what I would compare it to is maybe like if you read comics, like the Punisher's, uh, is it the Punisher's War Journal? I can't remember. The one that would have like the technology and stuff in it. Uh, the private catalog and manual of Mac Bolin. Every book, character, and event, all the weapons, an inside look at the making of the execution are completely illustrated. This is his book, his operating manual, his history and scrapbook, his rogues gallery, his dictionary and index, his catalog of weapons and strategies, the indispensable guide and source book for the millions of readers who've made Mac Bolan the most exciting hero of, of, what does say, of the decade. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. The executioner number 29, Command Strike. He's coming through the window. There's a boardroom. Oh my goodness. The, <laughs> the executioner number 30. Cleve, what is this? Cleveland Pipeline. He would go anywhere, man. I think we get like every city in the like every location in the United States we we visit. He's 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 all over the region. He's not bound to one region. Mac Bolin is everywhere. Arizona ambush. Kyle, man, you have Kyle, number 32, Tennessee Smash. Check out the chick with the guitar. This is reminiscent of a scene from, I think it's Vigilante Force, Bernadette Peters with a guitar, playing, strumming a guitar on a bed. Okay, there's one more here. Number 33, Monday's Mob. As you guys know, Don Pendleton only wrote the first uh, few dozen, like the first three dozen, and there's a little less than that. Um, executioner books and then he was like all right I'm out because I mean that's that's a big accomplishment writing three dozen roughly three dozen uh, novels and he was like I, I'm done that's all I got but they continued to print them under ghost writers under the name of Don Pendleton to this day oh here we go we're still going number 71 bloody dues <laughs> no <laughs> so just blood dues I told you to have my glasses on blood dues Number seven, what is this? Number 76, Turan, <laughs> Turan Wipeout. Number 80, Running Hot. Number 90, Blood Heat Zero. Number 95, Blood and Thunder. He looks serious. 
if we haven't talked about it, um, if you haven't seen our Mac Bolin video, I'll try to remember to link it right here. But uh, Mac Bolin, the executioner, was absolutely the inspiration for The Punisher. I think Jerry Conway, the creator of The Punisher, cites these books, the executioner books, as well as uh, movies like Death Wish and Dirty Harry, the vigilante movement of the late 60s to early 70s. Uh, he cites those as being the primary influ uh, influence for The Punisher. And if you read these books, it's kind of a one-to-one -one of The Punisher. Like, it's not really... Um, I mean, there's there's a few differences, but he's basically the Punisher is basically Mac Bull and the Executioner. This is number ninety seven, Meltdown. Number ninety eight, Black Dice. Number ninety nine, Code of Dishonor. And number one hundred, Blood Testament. If I have the whole the first one hundred Mac Bolan books unbroken, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Number 101, Eternal Triangle. Uh, number 102, Split Image. And number 103, uh, Assault on Rome. Now he's taking it to Rome, you guys. He's going straight to the heart of the Cosa Nostra. La Cosa Nostra? All right, let's see. We also have more books in here. We have Terry Brooks' The Dark Legacy of Shananananara. Genesis of Shananananara. The Gypsy Morph. The Voyage of Jurl Shananananara, Isle Witch, Legends of Shananananara, Bearers of the Black Staff, and The Talismans. Talismans? Yes. Of Shananananara. This is book four of the heritage of Shananananara. But there's more. What is this? The Voyage of Jurl Shananananara. Uh, Antrax, not Anthrax. <clears throat> Antrax. This looks like a library copy. Permabound. I love these little library copies. I have a few of them. Of these, uh, yeah, this comes from a library. Reading level 6.9. I don't know what that means. Points value 26. Okay, there's a, um, a priority envelope in here. What do we have here? Oh, here's another letter. Okay. I also work for the company that makes the patches for Major League Baseball. I don't know if you're follow if your following has a lot of sports fans in it, but here's a couple of World Series and postseason patches. If you want to do a giveaway or anything, if you ever want to do any patches, hit me up. I'll take care of you. Kyle, man. Okay, hold on. So here's patches. So we have, oh wow, this is the World Series 2019 patch. Postseason 2019. Okay, it's it's two of each, so it's two World Series and two uh, postseason. Let me do it like that. You guys interested in any of these? Let me know if you're a sports fan. I, I would love that. We don't talk about sports here at Serial at Midnight, but that doesn't mean that uh, that you guys aren't into it. So if you are, let me know, and we will certainly line up a contest to give away some patches. So just let me know. Okay. Ugh. Here's the second box. I'm going to take this opportunity to move this larger box out of the way. It was empty. It was empty. Don't look at me like that. All right, I'm in the second box. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Anything at this point is just gravy man okay hold on we have another box let's see what's in this box <gasps> oh wow you guys <sighs> it's a carded dick tracy action figure from 1990 and you guys have hopefully seen my video about my childhood oh i'm emotional my um my display, not my display. <laughs> I, uh, uh, you've seen my video about my childhood Dick Tracy collection, and I talked about how I had like all of them except the blank, which, if you see here on the back of the box, the blank is right here, advertised but not in stores in America, sent to Canada uh, to close out. And I have not. Ooh, you guys, I haven't held a Dick Tracy carded action figure. I mean, I know they're around. I know that you can buy them on eBay, but I have not touched 
a carded Dick Tracy action figure since I opened mine as a child in 1990. So looking at 30 years, this is my first, I'm holding a carded Dick Tracy 30 years later. Kyle, thank you. The books are amazing. The, uh, the patches are cool. The DVDs are wonderful, but this is uh, a little piece of my childhood that you have returned to me. The experience of, um, of what these meant to me when I was a kid. You've given that back to me. Thank you. I, I, thank you. Guys, but there's one more thing here. <laughs> wow. And it's a doozy. Oh, let me make sure I'm not like... Nope, there's something else. <laughs> there's something else in the bottom of this book uh, box too. Um, holy, <laughs> holy cow! I'm getting overwhelmed. Seriously, uh, it's a treasure of great recipes by Vincent and Mary Price. This is Vincent Price's cookbook. A beautiful hardbound copy of Vincent Price's cookbook. I mean, I'm going to be very careful here. Vincent Price was very much a fan of culinary delights. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. Ooh. It smells amazing. I mean, it smells like an antique book, which is exactly what it is. Um, trying to find... There are pictures in here. I was trying to find a picture so I could show you guys. Here we go. Carefully. Gingerly. You guys see this? Trying to get the glare off. There, let's think that's the best we can do. I'm not going to open it any wider than that. Um, he said something about a bookmarked page. There's a couple of bookmarked pages here, so I will look at this. Oh my goodness! Ah. I believe we have Vincent Price's autograph. Warmest wishes and bon appetit, Mary and I. Does that say Vincent Price? It says something Price. I think this is Vincent Price's autograph. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am speechless. I am speechless. I do not know what to say this is <sighs> thank you so 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 much uh, there's one more item in here I'm gonna pull myself together so I can finish this video <laughs> let's see what do we have here what Vanilla fudge and the beat goes on. Oh my goodness, you guys. Vanilla fudge and the beat goes on. And is this. Wow. Oh, it's got a cover of She Loves You. I want to hold your. It's got. Oh. One, two, three. It's got a, a Beatles medley. I want to hold your hand. I feel fine. Day Tripper and She Loves You. A cover of Hound Dog. Oh, wow. I still just have the two vanilla fudge albums that I that I have that I found at that show. I'll just show you guys the the label. It's upside down. <laughs> show you the label. Atco. Holy cow. Uh, Kyle, thank you so so very much. I am humbled. I am speechless. As you can see, uh, that you are so so generous. Too generous, my friend. Thank you so very much. It is appreciated. Uh, it means a lot to me. Brian Trash, thank you so much for, let me grab it again, for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steelbook. This is Halloween Check Made. I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This means a lot to me. Guys, thank you so much for you watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with us and opening these, um, I think we can call these boxes of treasures. These are undeniable treasures that we have unboxed here in this video. So, um yeah <laughs> thank you oh i'm thrown guys thank you very much take care uh we until next time no hold on let me start it again 
Um, uh, <laughs> guys, thanks for hanging out with me, watching this video. Thanks to the senders of these packages for mailing us such wonderful, thoughtful uh, presence and, and sharing these things with us and you for watching this. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with us to open these things. Um, do take care. Comments in the comments below and let us know what you think about some of this stuff. I'm, I'm serious. Like I'm, my game is all thrown off. Guys, thank you very much. Take care. And until next time, I will catch you later. Whew, I made it.